Fall Guys is a game that came out during mid-2020, and it has proved to be one of the most fun games on the earth. But recently, it has been losing some of its popularity, and including some big players. Today, I want to talk about some ways that Fall Guys could be saved, and if Season 3 will save Fortnite. But first, we need to go over the history of Fall Guys. Fall Guys is a game that has been in development since 2018. It took two years, but the game managed to deliver a very successful game. The game has been played by millions and is even more popular than Fortnite at this point. The game itself is basically like Fall was like Gang Beasts, Wipeout, and Takeshi's Castle all mixed together. But that doesn't mean it's a complete ripoff. Fall Guys got so many players that the servers actually got shut down because of how many players they had. They weren't expecting that many players to be playing this game on its release. And maybe the fact that it was free on PlayStation is one of the factors that made it actually very popular. The game was only available on PlayStation and PC, and still is now, but that didn't stop players, because there was a huge influx of players, and because it was the new game, everybody was having fun, because you knew that every game, you had a very chance of winning your special crown. Four guys had a very quick rise to fame. Within a day, there was over a million players playing the swipe out game. It was very fun as everybody was a noob and every time you knew that the game was going to be kind of totally different. There wasn't many levels but that didn't stop players having fun as players were discovering strategies to win the very special crowns. Even popular streamers like Ninja and Dr. Lupo, which will be on about later with Dr. Lupo, started playing this game and getting more popularity attracted it. The servers were so full that they actually were getting shut down multiple times. But that didn't stop players. Even though some players knew they wouldn't be able to play the game, that didn't stop them from watching YouTube videos and increasing the popularity. As the game grew in popularity, more cheaters started to jump onto the bandwagon, this making the servers a bit unfair and unplayable, because you always knew that sometimes there would be that one hacker in the game. And during this time, there was no report system, so these hackers were basically nothing and you could not do anything about it. They either got free wins, change their kudos on crowns, or even give themselves stuff for free. So basically, the hackers were undefeatable and you had to deal with them in your game. There was actually zero chance to defeat them unless the hacker was a complete noob and didn't lose. This led to many people leaving the game really early on because of how hackers were actually playing with the game. Also, over time, the game started to get boring and less, less people started playing it again. This leading to the downfall of Fall Guys, the game that used to be very creative and very fun to a game that is basically now played by people who just want to have fun, but still enjoy the game. Also, Among Us played a huge factor, the game that was created in 2018 and ruse to fame ruse to fame in 2020. This game also had to deal with Among Us because more people were leaving Fall Guys to play Among Us as Among Us was on mobile and was free and more people had mobiles than they did PlayStation 4s and computers that could actually run Fall Guys. So this is one of the main factors that led into the downfall. With a popular game comes popular memes, and there are three memes I want to talk about in this video. Number one being the Tim and Tapman meme. Tim the Tapman meme. Basically, Tim was playing this game 24/7, but he could never get a win. That led to that led to many people making jokes and humorous things about Tim the Tapman not being able to win, until the day came where Tim the Tapman won hexagon. And then the memes kind of stopped, really. There was no reason to have the memes, because they basically didn't make any sense anymore. But that didn't stop people from making memes about Tim the Tatman winning. The second meme is the tail tag game mode. Basically, there was a bug where players could grab tails, basically, from large distances. Many people said that the four guys had extendable arms, and some people, like me, said they had the powers of the force on their side. <laughs> And the third meme 
is the Twitter memes. Basically, the creator of Fall Guys was a humorous guy, and he couldn't really take the job legitly. Basically, he posted a lot of memes, including a meme about him deleting Yellow Team if one of his tweets hit 1 million retweets. The tweet does not have 1 million retweets at the time of this video, and it also means Yellow Team has not been deleted. But, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be deleted in the future, because the Fall Guys creator said that they should probably, they will probably do it if the tweet does reach 1 million retweets, but then, then that means that, ah, I'm not going to reset, I've gone so far, I don't feel like resetting, <laughs> so, they said that they'll probably do it, so maybe Yellow Team will be a premium experience. <laughs> Dang it! The current state of Fall Guys is kind of a 50-50 thing. Some people are joining the game, some people are leaving. Basically, the game is kind of this is kind of in this flat line state where it's not gaining views, it's not losing views. It's kind of in the point where there are still a lot of people playing it, but most of them are tryhards, so people are leaving. And then the tryhards, they get bored, and then they leave, and then more people try to join in, but then they get the hit by the other tryhards, and then the cycle basically continues over and over again. Season 3's theme is about the holidays, and near the holidays, some people celebrate Christmas. So for Christmas this year, some people are going to be getting the game, and that means there's going to be an influx of Christmas noobs roaming the earth of Fall Guys. And that'll bring back some old players, because they're going to realise that the lobbies will be somewhat fair, because there'll be a lot of people who are going to be bad at this game. But that's also going to mean a bunch of good players that were all left the game, because they, it's too um, easy, are going to come back, because then they're going to get to, um, some fun. Oh, now it's watching some of these people play. I messed up so many times on that line, but I'm not redoing it because I'm tired. So yeah, that's one. That's the reason I think Fall Guys in Season 3 is going to be revived. If you enjoyed the video that I spent literally half an hour making, please like and subscribe and share the video with as much people as you can. When it's Christmas, if you can, make sure to pick up Fall Guys and actually give it a chance because it is a very fun game. And trust me, you're going to love it. Also, there are going to be more people rocking some of the DLCs because of Christmas, so these skins aren't really as rare anymore. But who cares? Make sure, like and subscribe, share with people that you like, and enjoy Season 3.